Thank you for that footage. It was so freaking cool to see like Jeremiah and I scuba diving and getting like the other aspect of it. We love it. I can get way better footage than that. We just have to arrange it on. Okay, we'll make sure it's not the 100th naked dive. Up to you. Just joking. Haha. <laughs> -ha. um, yeah, no, we really, really love that. It was really cool. We don't ever get to see that because it's only just us two. We've been hanging out for days and days at this amazing anchorage, enjoying the beach and tiki bar. But now we're all checked out of customs and ready to sail south to Grenada. This was our last stop before pulling into a marina for the upcoming hurricane season. It didn't disappoint. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. For five years, we've been sailing the world and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us as we head for the Caribbean. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. Seven miles. Wow, called Kick'em Jenny. Kick'em Jenny. We're past. Yeah, that's weird. There are birds everywhere. We must be going through like a little, there must be a flock, like uh, they must be migrating maybe. I don't know. Look at that guy up there. That's what they're on. They're gonna crap all over the boat. Sailing right over the top of, well, not right over, right next to the exclusion zone of Cape Jenny, the volcano that's just north of the main uh, island of Grenada. An exclusion zone has been established around Cape Jenny, a submarine volcano, due to the potential danger of shipping and volcanic activity. Shipping and volcanic activity. That's neat, that's a first. 
sailing over a volcano. We are about one mile. So the exclusion zone is one mile right now. There's, we are also inside of a, like a two mile one uh, that they, they close off in case it has some like activity. But I believe it erupted last in 2015. That's kind of neat. We're coming down right here. That's the exclusion zone around Kickham Jenny, the underwater volcano. A little squall down here, but we're cruising down the outside and we will be going along the side of uh, Grenada here this afternoon. Right now we're, we're sailing at about six knots and we have 18 knots of wind. It's been going up and down. Yeah. Are you worried to be on top of a volcano? Nah, not at all. I mean, it's gonna erupt someday, but you can't really live your life like that, right? Yeah. I, it does worry me that when it erupts, it'll be a tsunami and we're gonna be here for a little while, but... No, we'll be on the south side of Grenada. If we're in the marina, we'll be fine because we're protected by the land. Oh, yeah, yeah, here, that's true. It's pretty cool. I read that it was, it's gonna be about eight kilometers from Grenada. There. I'm not sure what one it is. I know that's Kickham Jenny Rock. Yeah. But yeah, there's a couple little islands over there. Uh, all part of this volcanic system over here. Yeah, I started to feel a little seasick when I was reading, so I put it down, but I'll read about it later. Yeah. If you know anything, comment. Let us know. <laughs> it's kind of cool. There's a sailboat sailing right over it. I imagine the current state would be more a little bit more rough over there right no? might be like this as long as they don't get like a weird bubble that comes up and swallows their boat yeah. well they probably want to say that they've sailed over a volcano yeah it's really cool well tenderly so do we i know you're right sailing over a volcano add it to the list do you feel like shutting the generator down it's nice and cool in there and the rain has cooled everything off. Good. It was a hot one. It is. It's been hot ever since we got down here. I it's almost like it's this like Southern Caribbean or something. <laughs> no kidding. I'm shutting the generator down. Alright. One cool thing I like about I mean many things I like about our boat, but on this battery gauge, I mean I'm sorry, on the chain counter you can see what the battery state is at. So right now, I don't know if you can see it very well, but 13.7 because it's being charged by the generator. Uh, we should see it drop here when Brittany flips off the gen, the, oh, there it goes there, down 12, four. So while I'm sailing, I can monitor where my batteries are at. So that's pretty sick. That's very useful. Yes, I am. That was great, thank you. You barely ate it. Well, I don't eat a lot very much anymore. Oh, okay. I don't. Well, yeah, I don't. I know. It's sad. I have, like, nobody to cook for now. Uh, don't fall over. Don't worry. I know you'll come and get me. I don't want to say, I don't want to jinx myself, so I'm just going to go with, I know you'll come and get me. Yeah. I hope. Looks like there's another squall ahead. Yep. It might it might pass in front of us or we might get hit. I don't know. It's kind of great. I mean... It cools everything down. Yeah. And it cleans the boat. It, we have to clean in here still, but this is nice. Yep. It's really nice. The boat gets a little dirty when we're out for a long time. Yeah. During the past eight months or so, we've been sailing through some amazing places. The Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Virgin Islands, and Lower Caribbean Islands. Now we're pulling into a marina that's located along the south coast of Grenada. We're excited to get settled in.
We had a slip reserved, but we were surprised to be placed on an unprotected fuel dock with no power or water. Jeremiah wasn't thrilled, and that's never fun. Connie. Are you still angry? No, I, well, I wasn't angry in the first place. I was just annoyed and frustrated. The ladies in the front office were much more helpful. We booked this over a month ago, and um, we booked the end dock. I guess what happened was this guy came in. Um, we did call two days ago, and we called this morning just to be like, hey, we're coming, you know, just let you know. And then uh, they were like, yeah, you're good. I guess the dock, the dock master stuck this transient guy on our, in our slip. The guy has a professional captain coming on Monday to move the boat to go to the heart. So they asked him, I said, hey, can they just, can you just put him on our dock and we'll go to their dock and, uh, you know, on our slip. And they said, well, let, let us ask, let us ask. And I went down there and the guy's like, I can't drive my boat, I need a professional captain. Um, then they asked me if I'd drive his boat for him. And I said, well, if I get sued, I'll drive his boat. I don't have a problem doing that. And they were like, yeah, us either. So, but what they're gonna do is they're gonna try to get one of their professional captains they have here, um, just drive his boat around here. Seriously, all it is is a swap. Boop. They put him on the fuel dock temporarily, he's a transient, and put us into our slip. But as of right now, we'll be here tonight, hopefully we'll be able to swap tomorrow, and then we'll have power, water, we won't be rocking and rolling, and all that kind of stuff. I got a map of Grenada, a road roadmap. I'm sure we'll get to know this island quite well being here for uh, so long. Um, and I was like, look, you know, I, I really, you know, I would like to get my slip because I want to start getting things ready. I want to start, I got to get a uh, cleat repaired, you know, start having things happen. And recently we have a kid on board and we're sitting here, you know, sweltering, like sweltering. The thing was, the guy that's in our slip wasn't using power or water. So, you know, if he could just come here to the dock where it's transient dock anyway, where there's no power or water, it works great. That way we're not, we're not sweltering, we can get everything done. Okay, change of plans. We rented a little car, found a great marina. They have power, water, and better protection. So we decided to cast off the lines once more and move over there. the way to our new marina, Port Luis. I am gonna take the rental car and drive it over there. Kinda crazy, that was the first time I've just thrown the lines onto the boat and um, said goodbye to them. Well, that was weird. I just saw Brittany as we left the dock and she was still on the dock. We decided to go ahead and uh, take the boat around to another marina. We had already gotten a rental car and it was easier just to have her drive the rental car over and me single-handed over. Actually, Reese is here, so that's not only, that's not single-handing, I guess. Driving in Grenada, all on my own. Definitely get um, codependent on each other doing this lifestyle. It's so lonely without her. It's been like 20 minutes. We're always together. She usually goes through separation anxiety whenever we're not together, because we're always together even if it's like a little bit. I feel all out of sorts, so like separation anxiety. Uh, I'll be okay though, I'm gonna meet them over at Port Luis and get the dock master to dig me out to the boat and then I'll hop on the boat and help throw lines to Medmore. This should be very interesting. Right now, this is the first time out on Calypso, all alone. Very cool. Port Louis Marina is located on the southwest side of Grenada and it's very protected. This is definitely the marina to be located in our opinion. I jumped on board and we went out to meet Jeremiah and Calypso. Then we were all bringing her in for a med mooring where you basically tie the bow off to a mooring ball and back the stern to the dock. It sounded easy enough and with their help it went perfectly. Yeah. Okay. 
We are all ready to get settled into our home for the next several months. We can't wait to show you around. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. I want to open this up to see what food I have before provisioning. And there's bugs. We had issues with this door for a long time. Our air conditioner's not been working. My latest screwed up body part, I got attacked by red ants. That was a major fail. Cannondale waterfall is so beautiful. The CPAP, a safe, a bottle of scotch, and more laundry. Here's your punishment. Oh, oh yeah. Our battery bank is no longer good. Trojan T2s. We're gonna take these out. We're gonna be putting new ones in. Did I get the right sizes? You opened it. Yeah. In order to go into any crazy weather, we really need that to work. This is the rudder stock. It's like kind of bent that way. Then it all blows up. <laughs> Drones flying above us. Um, people were getting irritated. There's 14,000 people on this island. It's now empty cart and by cruising backpack. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week. We've been working all hurricane season for this. Are you ready to take this adventure to another level? We are. Oh. How is it? It's good. It tastes good when you're working for it. We've added a huge feature for you to enjoy. Hey, Our private server is live, baby. Visit us at www.lazygeckos.net to access episodes, exclusive content, bonus footage, live streams, photo shoots, and more. We are also in the process of building free apps for your tablet and phone. You can also qualify for free access by becoming a patron. See details at patreon.com forward slash lazygeckos.